Hi, this is Scott Brown with a MotorAge tool review of a very powerful feature only found on the Autel Ultra, and that is the Waveform Signal Generator. The highly versatile VCMI is a beast of a tool, and not only does it pack a four-channel lab scope with isolated grounds, on the opposite side of the tool is a powerful feature that allows the technician to manipulate circuits, which can be tremendously useful during diagnostics. The engineers at Autel have assembled some pretty cool features here, so let's have a look. To access this feature, select the Waveform Generator from the main menu. Looking at the lower left, tap on the signal box and you'll be presented with several options. Now these are advanced features that require circuit knowledge, so you'll need to prepare yourself so that you can reach a positive result. From this list, you have the following options. DC voltage output, Square wave, square wave X plus Y for generating signals such as a CKP sensor, etc. A triangle wave, an actuator drive for testing actuators such as fuel injectors, control solenoids, etc. And an arbitrary waveform. Or you can select from a custom list of waveforms you've created and saved within the tool, which is a really cool feature. This really lets the technician get creative with mastering their diagnostic processes that step outside of the standard trouble tree procedures that might fall short of providing them with a solid diagnosis and verification of system operation. This is especially helpful when you find a sensor fault and want to quickly verify that the control unit will respond to a substituted signal. The tool provides a technician with on-screen help complete with a graphical representation of the vehicle signal under test, which can be extremely helpful. In this example, I have a partial test vehicle bench with an ECM without a GDI fuel rail pressure sensor. And looking at the wiring diagram, I can see that this is an active three-wire sensor that has a 12-volt power supply, a ground, and a signal wire. The signal wire carries a 5 volt reference signal from the PCM that gets pulled down by the sensor. So in this case, we have to get creative and figure out how to pull this circuit down. And one way is to use a signal generator by attaching the leads as follows. Red goes to the signal wire and black goes to either the signal ground or chassis ground. From here, we can attach a voltmeter, which as you know, displays an average of the voltage. We can then match the voltage level five volts in this case, and manipulate the signal by varying the duty cycle. With a 50% duty cycle, we would expect to see about half of the reference value, which is what we do have here. Now with another scan tool connected, we can observe both the raw signal value and the interpreted value. But here we have a problem. We will need to increase the frequency of our generated signal somewhat above the PCM sample rate until we obtain desired results. And as mentioned earlier, you can save your signal setup for quick recall the next time you're presented with a similar challenge. And that's it. As you can see, the waveform generator feature is an extremely powerful feature that can save the technician time and help them in achieving success when dealing with challenges like this. I hope you found this informative. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.